Welcome to Marked Up Live. Well, what's up? It's another Thursday. Welcome out to Marked Up Live, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great week, man. What's going on? It's been a long week. I'm sure you guys have warmed up by now. I got some new glasses. I got some new glasses right there. They kind of tin up a little bit. I'm very proud of these because I did not realize how bad the other ones were. So, all right. So, I'm, you know, kind of, I've never had glasses with uh, that tint that, you know, tints up when you're out in the sun. So, anyways. Thank you very much. I wanted to send a little shout out to my mom. Uh, I lost her uh, 30 years ago this past January, and I kind of been laying low about it, but I definitely wanted to just, uh, I kind of sent a post out there earlier this week, you know, on um, praising my mom, you know, for uh, bringing me into this world. And uh, she's amazing, man. I miss her a lot, but um, 30 years has uh, gone by this past January and I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and love you guys so hold on to your mommies hold on to your daddies man you know what I mean and of course uh, hold on to some of that music but uh yeah man it's been a great week everything's been cool uh we have Michael Guetta on the show tonight so that's gonna be cool Michael's a bad dude man and I can't wait to have him here shortly but uh before we do all that start your watch parties you know the the, the drill start your watch parties let's get everybody here on the show so we can have a great one. Again, you can watch the show anytime during the week. It's always broadcasted. It's always live. And, uh, and if you guys want to just go just catch a replay, you know where to go find me on YouTube and uh, Marked Up Live. And then, of course, Facebook.com forward slash Marked Up Live. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot a little video here from uh, Mr. Michael Guerra. And we're going to have him here on the show in a second, man. So you guys are watching Marked Up Live. Again, start your watch parties. I'll be right back.
Mikey, what's, what's up, up, bro? What's happening? What's going on, bro? What's happening, yeah, man? Good Dude. To be here, brother. Thank you for inviting me, man. You see, it looks like we're split on the screen, but we're actually like right here. <laughs> we're here, bro. We're here. We're about we're about four and a half feet away, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> well, now they're gonna um uh, sorry about my my water almost fell. Um, we're gonna they ma mandated that. Well, they're they're gonna lift the mandate. Yeah, they right? are. Right. It's it's it's. Uh, I have mixed emotions. I'm sure a lot of people do. Oh know? yeah. But uh, you know, <laughs> it's 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 a hard one. It's a hard one. But I think everybody should still wear their masks, and it's up to their you know, it's up to them, of course, you know. But uh, yeah, brother. But uh, I will I will still wear my mask and. Uh, Cucino. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you get closer to your mic. Right. I wish I had the high dollar stuff, man. But <laughs> it's all good. Man. It's all good. All right, man. So well, welcome out to the show, man. So what's been going on? I mean, I, I know it's just like everything else, man. We we talk about this every week, you know, about uh, how uh, the uh, COVID situation has helped. I mean, has changed a lot for the uh, industry and you know and what we have going on. But at the same time. A lot of cool things have happened during the process and during right. the change and everything and during the journey of this whole thing. So how, how have you been doing and what's been going on with you in your life? Well, uh, you know, of course, like uh, like you said, uh, it's 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 been a kind of a downfall uh, in the beginning, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, just trying to stay positive And and uh, during the 2020, we, um, me and a good friend of mine, uh, shout out to Cesar Ortiz. Yeah. Uh, making of uh, of setting up a studio a recording studio so nice. we talked about it and i had post about it um it was probably uh about a year ago it was last spring and um and we decided to uh, uh build a studio of our own and so it's been going uh it's been going it's we're building it it's going slowly but surely and uh little health issues with uh with his family and stuff so you know, little speed bumps on the road, but, yeah. um, but, um, you know, we've been, uh, moving forward. I've been writing some songs at home, you know, doing some recordings from other bands and nice. And, uh, and, um, uh, actually in 2020, we did a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, filming, a lot of content, you know, for the Mavericks. Oh, yeah. oh cool. You know, in Nashville. So it was kind of hard. I missed out on one of the, the first, the first filming, actually, this is what, uh, probably I want to say April or May when this was first getting started with yeah. all the COVID stuff, you know, yeah. so. Uh, I didn't feel too comfortable, you know. I, didn't, I wasn't too sure about, you. you know, what was going on yeah. with, with that, with that uh, disease or whatever, you know. And I was like, shit, uh, what do I do? You know, do I go and fly to Nashville or what? So I missed out. And uh, Percy Cardona, uh, they they got Percy Cardona, um, and uh, shout out to him. Yeah, great great player. Yeah, what's up, Percy? And, and uh, so he got to do some stuff. So if you see some Mavericks. Uh, uh, content we did a lot of stuff for nugs dot uh, net and so it's like a it's like a you, you pay us a, a small fee i believe it's like twenty dollars for a forty eight hour uh, a video uh, performance and um, back like uh, interviews and stuff like that oh, so it's a nice. lot of really cool stuff stuff that's a lot never of special been a feature kind yeah. of thing and then and it's never been uh, released you know only on there so oh, it's okay. so it's a new it's a new show for everybody so it was a big production you know the whole thing whole nine yards but uh it was a lot of fun so i i missed one so percy's on some of it nice. so we, we kept busy through the year uh went to the second one the third one fourth one and, and we were out there just filming all kinds of stuff and um so we we just uh did a episode four last week and so that was released and uh so we we kept busy you know with the mavericks and you know i've been with them since 2012 on their return on their comeback you know so we had to stay busy keep the fans you know intrigued and and uh and happy through all this you know sad times man and yeah. so so uh so we did a lot of that uh back home you know here here in san antonio like i said i was i've been writing a lot of stuff trying to record and and uh the studio that we're building is uh it's real close we're close to it so i, I, I want to get back to my roots man i did a lot of uh, i did a couple of releases in the past couple of years for the night's calling which was a different uh, a different band from the Michael Guerra band, mm -hmm. and so um, so I released a couple of those. I'm still gonna um, uh, release some stuff for for that, but I really want to get back to my roots, which was Conjunto, you know. And oh wow, and yeah. uh, I really want to get back to that. So so that's what I'm doing. That, that's what that's what's gonna be next for for Michael Guerra, you know. Yeah, that's cool, man. That that that's really cool. The uh, so there is a difference between the Michael Guerra band and the Knights calling there is uh the night's calling i would say it's 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 it gets away 
a little bit from the conjunto, but it's more of a Tex-Mex pop. You know, it's uh, it's got uh, a lot more of a like a Santana influence. You know, okay. Los Lobos. You know, so it's a little bit more of that. Uh, Michael Guerraban is is kind of uh, stays more towards the traditional. It's still kind of the different, like the rock stuff, but it's still more like the Tex-Mex fusion. You know, it's more okay. more the the Tex-Mex, the conjunto, more of the country sound. You know, so the the Knights Calling is definitely more of a rock pop. Type yeah, of thing, you know, and you guys get riffy, like I mean, like when oh, you're yeah. in the Michael Guerraban. Oh, like, for like, sure. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. That that never changes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> got to show off some That's of the, the stuff. Fusion, <laughs> that's where the fusion comes in. And then you got JR. Oh, yeah. Junior Hasso. Junior. You know? Shout out, man. He's been my bassist forever, man. He's he's uh, he's with Mario Flores and the Soda Creek Band. Yeah, so man. They've, yeah. Been, they've been doing really well uh, performing uh, quite a bit, you know. And so yeah. uh, shout out to those guys, man. They're, they're, they're great homeboys. And uh, But he's been busy with them. And so, so lately I've been using uh, uh, Mike Torres. You know, from La 45. Oh, yeah, man. You know, he's been helping me out. All right. Uh, Zeke Galvan, you know, he's with Little Joe on the drums. So yeah. he's, uh, he's been helping me out a lot. And Robert Casillas, you know, on, on Bajo Sexto. He's a mariachi. I mean, that, that kid's a very talented dude, man. And he's, well, I think he I plays, might have seen him on one of your videos. Yeah, he's a very talented bajo. dude. He plays all kinds of instruments, but he's great on Bajo. And so we, we've been sticking with those four guys, you know. But uh, when we get to do the Night's Calling, it's... You know, Junior, Junior's in the band and uh, Mondo. We got Mondo, Mondo Asenia. <laughs> you know, I love him. He did actually the the record. He's playing the, right now, dude. They're oh, playing right now, dude. No wonder I could never get him. I never never could get him booked, man. I mean, I know <laughs> it's great. It's great when everybody's busy, you know. So it's yeah, that's a good sure. thing. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. But uh, and uh, and then Will Owen Gage. You know, Will uh, Owen Gage was yeah. with Two Tons of Steel. Uh, and, great guitar um, player. Great guitar player. So we had him and also Lauro Torres on, yeah, on percussions, Lauro. man. And so, yeah, it's a great, great band. It's a six piece, you know. And so that's that's where we get real, real crazy and yeah. you know start doing some different stuff. So oh, that's cool. So I really want to get back to the night's calling, but I want to have all those guys, uh, you know, have that core. Yeah, and and write together. And oh, nice. So a lot of the stuff was just just me writing and and. Uh, but I like to get their, you know, their yeah, two man, they're, and, you well, know, yeah, man. I mean, because you know, it talented. just it just changes the whole. I mean, it can possibly change that song into like a, like I know, like since I'm doing some songwriting with uh, Emilio, man, you know, we'll be here FaceTiming and stuff, and we'll just be working on the tunes, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'll just maybe spit out an idea, or he'll spit an, uh, out an idea, oh, yeah. and then all of a sudden, that idea just spawned into something else. Oh, for it was sure. just something, you know, like well, you know what, maybe we can just rhythmically change that up here real quick yes. forget the notes for a second let's just change up the rhythm and you change that up and then before you know it man you got like you put some notes to it and then now it's a whole different thing it's pretty magical you know yes, it's, man, uh, the, it's the first time i ever experienced that is with with my business partner uh david pedrazine he's uh he's a san antonian but he's he's out in uh albuquerque new mexico he's a film director and, oh nice and an amazing writer script writer i mean lyricist uh we we started doing that i met him in about 2008 and uh that's the first time I ever really, you know, started getting into writing music and and he didn't know too much about playing an instrument, but he knew a lot about music. So, yeah, man, it's just like magic. You know, it's like exactly how you're saying is it's like he'll he'll throw out a line or two and it's like, oh, what about this? And yeah. I'll throw a line and he'll like throw four lines. You know? And I'm like, I'll throw one more line. And he'll throw <laughs> a verse, you know, and another verse, you know, it's like, wow. So I, I learned a lot of, uh, about writing from uh, from uh, from him early on, you know? Yeah. Uh, shout out, man, Dave Dave Pedersen, man, in Albuquerque. What's up, Dave? How are yeah. you, sir? It's, and speaking of, let's say hi to some people, man, real quick, because we got some viewers here, man. So we have awesome. uh, Ruben Guerra, Terry All Teresa. Right. What's up, Terry? Terry, my great friend. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, Terry's cool, man. Albert At Atilano. Albert, brother Albert, man, what's up? And then uh, Johnny. Hold on your own time, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Ramirez is watching. Orale. And then uh, Luis Perez. What's up, man? Daniel Rodriguez. Primo. Deborah Jason Martinez. Max Chavez. Yeah. All right. Albuquerque in the house. Yeah, man. Barbara Garcia Galindo just popped in. All awesome. Right. Well, Great. thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Mr. Michael Guerra. So yeah, man, that's, uh, that's pretty cool how you have created these two different bands that kind of play these different styles, man, but you're getting these homies in here to help you kind of record it, write it, and uh, 
and you know yeah for sure man uh, some great ideas can spawn from all that man and and wh which is the, of, of your projects are you focusing more on um you know it's it's right now you know it's like a 2020 was kind of rough and mm -hmm. uh uh nothing was going on really you know it was, uh, it was hard to get anybody together to to ride or anything you Correct. know so yeah. i kind of did anything everything on my, my own at home and and um but um I'm I'm wanting to focus on uh uh going back to my roots and and recording conjunto you know and and yeah. uh, and doing some of that uh but it's like I really can never just sit and do one thing you know mm -hmm. it's like uh I have so so much um, different uh influences and in, and in music that that I play you know and that that I play naturally you know it's yeah. like I can't just stick to one thing so but uh I definitely going to get back in the studio and and uh like I said, focus on on some conjunto tunes. Great. Uh, release those at the same time. You know, try to get the Knights Calling back in the studio and write together and and start releasing some of those. I actually, got some music that's been sitting there. You know, and I just haven't really mastered them yet. You know, so uh, they're ready to pop out. I'm just wait, waiting for the right time. You know, I, I released a couple of them uh, the past couple years, uh, a couple singles off the Knights Calling. But uh, yeah, just trying to trying to get back into. To the gist of things, man, yeah. you know, just try to get back into the groove, you know. Yeah. Now that everything's kind of opening up, everybody's a little little more uh, comfortable, you know. So Everybody can breathe a little bit. Everybody can breathe a little <laughs> bit, you know. <laughs> hey, but you know, man, like, you know, it is it's it is what it is, but I'm, you know, I'm probably still going to wear my mask a little bit, you know what I of mean? Of course, of course. I'll let some of these guys get their shots and let them get vaccinated and then I'll, maybe I'll take off my mask, which I don't mind taking off my mask anyways because, I mean, I'm not... I don't know. I, I, we were talking about this earlier. I know it's mm -hmm. a it's a big thing about who's going to be getting vaccinated, who's not. And there's different reasons why. And right. uh, and um, I know I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to get the shot. Well, a buddy of mine, not right just, now. A buddy of mine got his, uh, you know, when they first came out, and he's already growing another head, man. You know, so I don't, I don't want <laughs> that like, to happen. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, where's the, the what are you doing, the you know, buddy? He's got only the devil over here. He's like, where's the, the you know, the angel? It's like, gee, go. Oh, that know? guy's not gonna be there. It's gonna be the <laughs> yeah, devil he ain't got first. That, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna take him down. <laughs> it's gonna take him down, man. Gee, dude. No, that's I'm funny, gonna... but yes, dude. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm gonna probably, probably just kind of hold out. A little bit, you know, yeah, and, it's, uh, you know, just, you know, I, I try to take care of my health, I'm not saying I'm a, uh, that, that I can avoid it or anything. I'm not, you know, I'm just gonna, I, I just don't want to do it. You know, I, yeah, I don't know what the, choice. I don't know how it's going to affect people later on down the road. For sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like right now, everything, everything can be cool, man, but there's, you know, we, we don't have enough information on yeah it, there's, yeah there's been some instances where there's been you know where, where some heads. people yeah mm -hmm. there's just yeah man that <laughs> that you know it's and who knows what else is growing yes. you know but <laughs> but uh you know I, I i don't totally you know get away from it but it's uh you know it's it's a personal choice and yeah. you know just like the flu i mean it's a flu shot i mean i really never got the flu shot you know I've yeah never, and, I'm, and that's another thing too I never got the flu shot yeah, either. No. So I, by by any means, I don't think we're encouraging. Yeah, it's, you know, you guys not to get your shot. Personal, this is a personal personal choice. Yeah, yeah, it's a personal choice for us not to get our shots. And I have my reasons. Mike has his reasons. But yeah, but that's very true. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a hard it's a hard thing, you know. But it's you know it's 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 kind of too soon to know. And and, yeah. and but like I said, it's like for the more I mean, like you know, the older people and and. You know they're doing it. It's and it's you know it's a kind of a life or death thing for them. You know it's 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 they're older people and it it's it's, it's a hard thing, man. Yeah, it's, man. it's a very unknown. It's a you know it's 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 a very yeah. unknown, uncertain times right now. And, yes, it's and, so uh, new. You know what I mean? Like everything very just, new. You know, it's just so like we're just man. Things other, will change though. I yeah, mean, I do agree on that. And, I mean, and the other thing is is really I don't uh, I don't agree with with uh, our governor. You know, op reop uh, opening the whole thing. Yeah. Up so soon. I, I think we could have just waited it out a little more and and you know, the masks, the you know, reversing that. It's like, man, I think it's just a little too soon, man. Yeah. And, and it's I a think too soon. I think we're getting it under control, man. And it's just it's I think it's too soon, but you know, I, who am I, man? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. You know, I mean we just take care of ourselves and we just wear our own yeah, masks. Try to do the but, best. Um uh, dude, I, man, I want to hear your story about when you started, man. So check it out. First I want to show like a couple of photos here, man. Like what's up with this bro <laughs> Damn. oh man okay so that <laughs> that was That's awesome. uh, I man it. i was about uh shoot i was about 25 24 
Yeah. Uh, uh, just got back. I uh, just had got out of the Tex Maniacs actually, and and uh, joined up with Sean Som. You know, Doug Som's son from the Texas Tornadoes, uh, the original Texas Tornado. Uh, Sean Som had a had a thing going on, and and we did uh, the Tex Mex experience, and so those guys were all hippie dudes. You know, they had yeah. their long hair, and uh, Sean Som and uh, and Neil. You know, they they had their long hair. So I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm gonna do this rock thing, and I was I was really into the rock thing right at, at that that point so yeah that's that's <laughs> that's that's it right there and it's that's a little shot right there you jamming uh, out yeah you don't see my hair but it's up to like the back of my you know in the middle of my back it's like in a ponytail all right there on that particular photo this one yeah, you in the white shirt super slick back and yeah gosh i was skinny oh, <laughs> i think man. that was before i got so skinny <laughs> yeah that was before before i figured out what a burger man <laughs> dude oh what burger is the best man dude you never want to try to get skinny if you're doing whatever burger cuz that stuff's so good man oh i know gosh. oh my gosh dude <laughs> and this looks like something from that's yeah, Esteban Jordan on accordion yeah, and Flaco is. Jimenez that was the first time they uh, had played together on stage for man it had been uh gosh it had been like two decades at least since the last time they were on on stage together you know and uh that's speedy v on on bass and oh, uh wow, all the way was. in the back there in the drums is me you're playing <laughs> drums that's actually the first instrument i i i played Mine too. was it dude that's why our rhythm so we great. both <laughs> don't take the flu shot and we both started with drums <laughs> there you go I love it. And we're not missing a beat. And we're not missing a beat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's me. If you that's like cool. If if somebody had that 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 picture, I mean, if you like blow it up, I mean you could see my eyes just like <clears throat> like an owl, you know, just like, oh my God, this is really happening. Man, I must have been 23, 24. Oh, okay. You know, that was at the Conjunto Festival and and I, I jammed uh, Flaco got off and then Steve played, you know, some more, you know, and, and uh, I jammed with him. It was it was just it was just like surreal, you know. Who, Two who, of my uh, biggest influences. Okay, now what's up with the beer, bro? Oh, that accordion is beautiful, bro. So that's Damn. uh that's at uh, the Grand Ole Opry, actually. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, nice. Gilbert Gilbert Reyes um, from uh, Honer, Gilbert Reyes Jr. Uh, shout out to him and Honer Accordions. Uh, that's uh, one of the accordions they had uh, sent me, and uh, that was the first night I had tried it out, and so I was just fiddling with it and. Um, uh, our photographer, videographer for the Mavericks, uh, Alejandro Mene mm -hmm. Medina. Uh, shout out to him. He uh, he's like, hey man, just stay right there, keep playing, you know. And he's like taking pictures of me and stuff. And so that was actually probably my fourth uh, performance at the Grand Ole Opry. Your and, fourth uh, performance at the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, fourth performance with, at the Wuching one. Ah, uh, right with Chicano man. <laughs> Chicano at the Grand Ole Opry. Representing, Opry, Papa. Yeah. Representing, yeah. bro. Yeah, well, yeah. Shit, with the yeah. Mavericks, man. We, that was like Hell our fourth yeah. time, and and they had just sent me that beady, man. You know, so yeah, it's a uh, Anacleto, you know, a Ray Aguila, uh, Ray Aguila owner. Yeah, it's a beauty, it's a beauty a GCF. <laughs> dude, that's nice, dude. Oh yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's I good love stuff. the photos, man. Yeah, man, I can tell that. Uh, yeah, that that particular photo, man, right there, man, with that blue accordion, dude. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I mean, like, honestly, man, what's that thing? cost is that a five that's a three row that, that's a three row right. diatonic um man and it's a five switch you know so it has a it has three picture, reeds man. in it um the octaves you know it's a beautiful beautiful sound man i mean if I, it's it i mean it doesn't compare to the to the other accordions really i don't think uh, the other no. models of you know other brands right should i say mm. but uh Man, they they run different prices, but something like that's probably about five five grand, Ooh. you know, something like that. And so, uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's a blessing, man. Blessed to to be a, a owner in Dorsey and yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just a blessing, man. I've I've got quite a few at the house. So. Well, I'll tell you what, man. A lot a lot of the uh, owner um, in Dorsey's, man, are bad. You got oh, some yeah. bad cats up on. Oh there, yeah, man. for sure, man. It's it's a yeah, it's a some... great. Uh, yeah. cast of musicians there yeah. that that uh accordionists that uh i'm with man it's it's it's, it's bad dude. it's pretty amazing to be part of the honer family you know uh, man you know what what and this is crazy well it's not crazy but one of my dreams was to be on keyboard magazine never made it no kidding yeah but well, i would love missed, to be on that they missed out man hey man 
They it's on a bucket them. list. I can still do it. Oh, yeah. It's the, yeah, it's the time, time, man. Shit. It's super early in life right now, <laughs> is man. A, does a magazine still exist? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, hey, make your no, own. Still exist. Make your still, own, Mark. I make my own magazine. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, Wait, with man. a keyboard made out of green kale and... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is now. <laughs> Spring mix. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> 50 50. 50 50. <laughs> you got that shit right. All oh, right, yeah. man. What's up? Max Chavez. Max Chavez says, What up from Albuquerque, New Mexico? Oh, yeah. 505. 505 in the house. And yeah, man. Uh, Luis Perez from Amarillo, Texas. What's up? Primo. Luis? What's up, Primo? That's your Primo. Yes, my Primo. Barbara Garcia Galindo says, Hi, Michael. Looking great as always. Hello, hello. With some little hearts and your little aye, emoji. Aye. What's up? <laughs> and uh, Albert Ataliano. Atilano. Yes, says, that's brother. Hey, what's bro, up, my bro, bro man? That's my my uh, my bro in law. Yes, yeah, your brother in law. <laughs> yes, sir. And then Terry Teresa. What's up, Terry? She says Terry. hello. Oh yeah, it's my great friend. She's actually a she's a, she's a San Antonian. You know, oh, I'm yeah. originally from L. A. You know, and and uh, that's where you're when from? I came LA? originally from Los Angeles, I came out here uh, when I was 18 and in, in uh, 2000. You know. And uh, joined with a uh, with Max Max Baca man. Shout out to Max Baca, my man. man. And uh, we formed those Tex Maniacs years later. But uh, I met Terry when uh, Tex Maniacs were formed, and we were playing at um, at uh, at uh, Salute International Bar right Dude. there on St. Mary's, man. And so little, I yeah. met Terry there, and and she was such a, a wonderful friend. You know, we 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 got along, and she introduced me to. I mean, just a lot of people in San Antonio that mm -hmm. and uh, musicians and people that you need to know, you know, and she's still doing it, you know. So I told her, I was like, I've always told her for, for years. I'm like, you know what? You're going to be my PR manager, something yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when I get my thing going, you know, yeah. uh, after the Mavericks, you know, stuff, <clears> I'm going <throat> to I'm going to have her on the team, you know. Yeah, she's that's gonna good. Play an important role. So, yeah, so she's a dear friend of mine. Hey, uh, Terry, so where's your 10 percent? Come on. <laughs> she needs her 10%. I'm, I'm saying 15. Oh, I'm saying, yeah. yeah. There you go, Michael. Hey, yeah, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> and she's probably saying 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> she's like 15. Mark was way too low. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So then let me see. That's awesome, man. Well, it's cool to see you, Terry. And then, um, and then let me see. Looking. Okay. Let me see who else is. Okay. Uh, Max again says, come down to Albuquerque. Jam out, you know, bro. It's Max. Max is, and bring your accordion too. He says, <laughs> oh, I webo. got your stay. <laughs> ah, webo. Yeah, I don't think you go anywhere without that accordion. It's too oh, easy no, to I can't. carry. Oh yeah, it's too easy. That's actually why I stopped playing drums. I went to drums to accordion, man, because that's my dad's. Uh, that's how I started. Was a, was on drums. I, I was yeah. twelve years old, man, and uh, I started playing with my dad's band. My dad played by whole sextal. Right. And he was from uh, Brownsville, Texas. He moved out to L.A. in like the 60s. And so he had a bunch of uh, accordionistas, uh, bass players, drummers, all from Mexico and Texas, man. So there was a lot of uh, conjunto going out in, in L.A., man. Not so bad. So I was like, man, I just something drew me to the drums. And so I started playing, you know, for years with my dad. And yeah. And then I just saw like the, the accordion player would come in and like, you know, bring two cases. <laughs> boom. Take two Must out. Be nice. And and get do the gig, pack them up and out. You know, and I'm like over here sweating still. You know, breaking down. You know, breaking so I'm down. like, I gotta switch it up, man. I gotta do something different. <laughs> you know, so I went with the accordion, man. It's like cool. Easier, easier to carry around, man. Yeah, but how do you like? What, what's the process, man? And like. Yeah, you pick up your instrument, and I mean, did you take lessons? Did you just kind of learn by ear? Did you Man, do it on your own? The same, same with the the drums. I I was uh, I just sat next to the drummer and I watched him. You know, I just watched him, watched him. He gave me a chance to get up and not tell me a thing, and I, I hung, I hung in there. And he lost his job six months later. You know, ah, so I, <laughs> yeah. but uh, the same with the accordion. You know, it was a uh, we started a family band. Uh, my sister was starting to sing, and and the accordion players couldn't play. Uh, uh, it was a little too fancy to play Elsa Garcia and, and Selena and, and uh, you know, uh, Laura Canales, you know. So my sister, Melissa Guerra, you know, shout out. She's in L.A. still in L.A. Uh, she uh, started singing in beautiful voice, you know. And so nice. So I just decided to pick up the accordion and, and start messing around. And my dad does the same thing. Like, hey, you want you want an accordion? I'll buy it. I was like, yeah, yeah. All right. 
So I just started, you know, watching uh, Johnny Canales, man. That was that was our, you that know, that was your thing. That was our thing over there in L.A. That was our, you know, ticket to uh, Tejano music, man. So I would watch that. I would watch the Korean players, you know, moving the fingers and stuff. And that's how I learned, man. I never got a lesson. Really? Never. No, but, dude. But the buttons are all crazy. I mean, I mean, the way well, it's. Yeah, it's, I tried. It's, I tried. It's, it's definitely a, a, an equation, you know. It's I'm still learning, you know. It's a, it's it's a, it's an in and out thing. It's like three harmonicas in one, you know. Yeah. The only thing I, I would love is if we could bend notes, you know. That would be cool. But but the unfortunate thing is they bend, they break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's not like it's not too much like a harmonica, yeah. but Pah. yeah. <laughs> you know, oh and yeah, you're we, done. Y'all know that it, all the accordions out, uh, accordion players out there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're is right, that what you it already does? know. Oh yeah. It dies out, but uh, but it's a you know each button is you know two notes in and out. It's it's a it's a difficult instrument if you don't know what you're doing. You yeah, know? man, but, I'll try uh, and take some lessons with uh, at the Guadalupe Culture Arts Center with uh, oh, yeah. Joao Guzman. Oh, tsh, well, I was a master. Yeah, but I couldn't. Pre- I, I mean, I I had my lessons. I just couldn't do it. Oh yeah. I mean, I tried. You know, I took lessons for like months. I mean, of course, if you're gonna. Play an instrument, you gotta, you know, you gotta invest and you gotta just, you know, or not so much invest, but you know, you gotta stay on it. Oh yeah, for sure. And, just and like I had a, an, an accordion, but it was a borrowed accordion. So my buddy needed his accordion back Yeah. because I didn't, because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to purchase one yet. For sure. Yeah. But I do. I yeah. would love to have an accordion. I want to learn how to play accordion. Well, let's get so you I'm, one. I might do it like Michael Salgado. There you the go. Keys. See, there you go. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, but the, then the, it's different, right? Because I mean, because the. In and out doesn't work anymore. Well, it's, it's all a, one note. It, it, it works in a different way, you know. And there's other variations that you do in and out, you know, that sound really beautiful that that the accordion, uh, the diatonic doesn't do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like we have a different in and out in and out technique, and it has a total different sound than uh, what a piano accordion does. You know, because it's chromatic. It's just it's right. And it's the, all the, the same note in and out. So it's it's a beautiful thing, man. I think. I think you should. I mean, the accordion just... Have you tried it? Sounds beautiful. What, a Playing piano? a piano accordion? Well, I did it in my earlier days and uh, before I picked up the, the button, but I, I grew up around the button accordion and yeah. a friend of mine down the street uh, had a, a piano accordion. So he, we actually, I would play with his conjunto and he played pretty good piano accordion. So uh, I would pick it up, but I was just like, oh, I did, didn't really dig it until, you know, like I said, my dad's accordionists were all button accordionists. So yeah, like, yeah. that really like... You know, turned me on. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, for sure. Man, I want to play these buttons, man. I, I need to figure this out, and and so it's a whole other thing. But for you, definitely, you're a key, uh, an amazing keyboard player. So it's it, it makes sense to just jump on a piano accordion. On a piano you know? accordion, yeah. And uh, and get you a honer. Get a you honer. For yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get you a deal, Gilbert. Gilbert, Gilbert. Reyes. Hey. Let's get him a deal, man. Let's give me a deal, Gilbert. I want to pay. Oh, they're beauty. They're beauties, man. You should see them. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I picked up a couple of accordion, uh, a keyboard accordions and. And, um, of course I grew up listening to it all my life. So, um, yeah, man, I kind of felt like, I was like, okay, I mean, I could do this. I could do this, you know, uh, button. Yeah. Of course. One thing, but, uh, but the, but the piano. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think I'm, I, I think I'll be okay. You know, yeah, for, for, I'll learn the, the, uh, the, the little tricks, but yeah, at, at, at the end of the day, I think that, that, that would put me on an accordion level quicker (laughs) yeah for sure man and with your recordings you're always recording so you can always you know use the accordion and you know you always have you always need that that sound or that tone or something of the accordion you know and and it's not just a a one sound it's like you get one with the the five registers you know and it gives you different sounds man and so that's yeah, right. man. It, you, you, we'll look into it. We'll look into All it. All right. Really? Yeah, definitely, yeah, man. Definitely, dude. man. Oh, man. Oh, or, man. Or maybe not, man. This way you could call me for the recessions. I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. right. That's right. A, I don't know. Well, what I, what I do we do you, here? Man. <laughs> I'll just be demoing stuff because when it comes down to the brothers, then I'll, I'll step out of that, man. But at least for like ideas, like oh, recording for sure. ideas. I mean, that's why I have my guitars. I mean, they're oh, up yeah. here, but they all work. My basses and everything. I mean, oh, my definitely. stuff works. Yeah. If I got to lay something down, boom, I'm ready to go. But uh, yeah, man, uh, I wanted to fast forward here to um, one of your videos. We're going to take a quick break here and show one of uh, Michael's videos. And this one is, uh, remind me on the title. It's the San Antonio song. Okay. Que viva mi yeah, San Antonio. Que, yeah. Que viva mi San Antonio. So tell me a little bit about that and the, and the special video that we're about to see from a friend of yours. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, que viva mi San Antonio. I, I wrote that, uh, man, I, it must have been in 2011. And uh-huh. uh, I had been living here already about 11, you know, 10, 11 years. And, uh, I mean, I fell in love with the city so, so much that it just, uh, 
one night it just really hit me and I just I was like man I gotta write a song about San Antonio you know it's like like my San Antonio you know it's like yeah yeah and so I was like man I just I just sat down and started writing it and of course I, a lot of times I write with the bajo bajo sexto you know and I still have my dad's old Martin uh, Martin Ma Macias yeah and so I got that and I swear that thing has some some great great energy in it Nice. And so I uh, write a lot with it and, and yeah, I just started writing it and I swear it, it came, it came out in like in one session, you know, it was like, I stopped and like, you know, okay, got stuck a little bit and grabbed something to eat, maybe some coffee and, you know, went back to it and it just came out and I'm like, holy crap, you know, it's like, this is working really well, you yeah, know, that's great. and I already had that groove, you know, I wanted it to be a conjunto, you know, like a conjunto style, like a polka style. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was like one of the, the, the first songs I wrote by myself that I just kind of from top to bottom, you know, and I uh, just figured it out and, and went out to, to blue cat, you know, Joe Trevino. Shout, <laughs> Joe out. T. What's up, Shout bro? out to Kim Trevino and Joe. Some of my favorite peeps. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I, mean, I see a lot of, and uh, yeah, you guys work a lot together. So I called Joe and I was like, Hey man, I'm going to get the band together and, and uh, cut this song. And so, yeah, we cut it. And, uh, and a good friend of mine, um, um, Chumbe Salinas had, uh, and say, I hope you don't mind, but I put this video together for you, and uh, you don't have a video, right? And I said, No, we never made a music video for it. So she she came up with this little little, little thing about uh, San Antonio. I thought it fit perfectly, you know. So it was a really really beautiful thing for her to do, you know. That's wonderful, man. Well, I'm uh I'm ready to show this video, brother. Let's do it. Dale, dale All show. right, man. You guys, welcome out to Mark the Live, man. We got Mr. Michael Guerra. We'll be right back. <laughs> This is it? No, this is not it, right? Oh, that's a song what I mean. This is a song what I mean. I think this is what I mean. You know? Oh, so this is a... Is this it? That's Groove All Night. This is Groove All Night. Okay, hold on one second, brother. Yeah, well, I'll just edit this later. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's get this right. Because the, the song that I wanted to show you is, 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 is uh, San Antonio. So this is going to be... Yeah. On uh, see the dogs got mad too. Yeah, the they dogs started, got mad too. Like yeah, they're on, barking. Like, see, <laughs> they're like, "What's up, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? No. I thought we put the video in here. Yeah, we did it first. It was the intro. It was the intro. Yeah. Oh, it was the intro. Yeah, so that's intro. what it was, yeah, man. My bad. Song. That's all right. Yeah, right, so man. we'll definitely edit this later on, so so you won't see this tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's <laughs> but, all good. That's live, yeah. man. That's what, yeah, that's what it, happens live. Exactly, man. And I'm doing bunch stuff of... by myself, and I just love doing it, man. Dude, I love that's, doing it. That's that's amazing what you're doing right now. Yeah. I'm wa I'm watching Mark do all this right now, <laughs> and he's he's got it all set up. It's all him. There ain't nobody over here. It's my little cockpit. You know, there's nobody. We're in this small room, and he's got the lights. He's got it all down. He's doing it. So I I, I praise you for that, bro. Oh, that's dude, pretty, thanks, bro. Pretty amazing, man. You know, it's like. I thought you had a bunch of help uh, when I was seeing your other uh, interviews, and I'm like, man, I'm like watching you do all this stuff so over here. So bro. he's doing it all, man, and I, that, that's awesome, man. I, <laughs> Thanks, I love man. it. I really Thank love you. it. Hey, Dave, we, we Dave Pedersen, we got to get this, man. I love, I love what he's got. This oh, setup, dude, yeah, man. I'll definitely will be more than happy to help you guys, like get oh, anything. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, for this sure. is great, man. And let me see. Okay, so let's go back to some of the people who were uh, some of our uh, guests that were. Uh, chiming in a little while ago so let me see dorothy says the blue box is gorgeous dorothy yes dorothy she's a great fan and uh i appreciate her generosity uh a lot of these people have uh you know have shown their generosity through uh the times like other uh, than 2020 and and, and lately love, you know right? we, we do the we do some facebook live stuff instagram instagram live and uh play music me and robert and and uh, and the fans are so generous, man. They they send us, you know, their tips and uh, just the appreciation that you know they have for for the music. And like I said, the generosity is is far out, man. It's like yeah, so man. Well, they, I thank you, thank you guys so much. Well, it's true, man. Like for real, our fans become family because I have totally. so many um, close friends that no matter like if i hit midland odessa if i hit like really anywhere i have somebody somewhere totally yes that's you, that's a beautiful thing yes, man dude, from, from going to these towns and they you're right they're, they're they're fans they begin fans and then they they're they're friends man it's yeah. like anytime y'all need anything it's like call me you know it's like I've, I've had people like pick me up to go pick uh go to make a store run uh, to to get some toiletries or whatever man right it's ever, like man. just just anything or come to my come to our house we'll cook you dinner or 
just just like you said, family, and it's 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 a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah, you know, you know when when you brought up Max Baca earlier, and uh, now that we're talking about you know family, fans, friends, family, uh, <clears throat> Max. Um, of course, he was a musician. I mean, he's playing at that time. He was really good friends with Pete Ivara. Oh yeah, for sure. And when we would go play in uh, New Mexico. Oh yeah. Dude, he would set us up. Oh man, man. feed us. His mom was amazing. <laughs> His mom, yes, yes. The Dude, family, right? their family, the Baca family. I want to, I want to give a shout out to them, man, because yes, that's man. exactly what you're saying. Is is that happened all the time? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, Max, Max, and I, we we were uh, with Rick Torino a lot of times. I mean, maniacs, and then of course Max on his own, but. When I was around, uh, we'd 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 go through there, and I swear it was like a smorgasbord, man. Dude, it was like right? Amazing green chili, chicken enchiladas. I'll never forget. Yeah, I, I need the recipe. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's um, I got a bunch of green chili in my in my. Oh, do I cook? I love to cook. Bro, I can cook really good. Really? Yes. Oh yeah. What What's your What's your man, forte? Man, uh. Gosh, I, Mike's number one man. I, I in your I, cookbook. I, I do a lot of stuff, man. I, I do. I love to do soups. I love. I love. Uh, you know what? I, I would say my dad's recipe for menudo, dude, is some of the best. Okay, that's the one thing I want to learn. Really, I want to learn how to make menudo. My father-in-law makes good menudo. He makes badass menudo, and I want to learn how to make it like that. He takes his time and he gets all the See, fat off, and he just that's like, the thing about like when I was growing up, my dad would like he would buy the meat, you know, the whole the lining, the whole stomach, you know, that whole thing, and he would cut it up into the bite-sized pieces. But he would never use powder, chile, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was all the 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 real, you know, the real really? chiles, man, like the guajillos or like the. Uh, Anaheim chiles or the New Mexico chiles, you know, there Damn. were, there was always the real stuff, you know, and so he made the 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 liquid, you know, and and that's how I do it, man. I do not mess with powder, really, you know, at all. From and, scratch, and, and uh, everybody always says like, man, there's no fat in this, like in the soup, it's like it's clear, it's like bro. the red, it's it's bro, come on. <laughs> I don't I don't eat menudo a lot. I mean, I obviously chinga, but. Oh, you would love, dude, you would I love my man. To, I got to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. I'm going to have to come over to your pad, dude. <laughs> come on, come I'm on. I'm going to have to come over to your pad. For dude. you, Mark, I'll definitely do it. All right, I'll definitely. Oh, man, dude, you're fucking badass, dude. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, Papa. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this video, uh, and uh, I think this should be, I don't know what song this is, but we're going to play a video because we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back, everybody. We don't go anywhere. Oh, and one more thing real quick. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back. I have a lot of comments here, so we'll get back to you guys here in a sec. Yeah. All right? Cool, man. We'll see you guys in a sec. Yeah. A lot of people come on.
Well, yeah, bro. Nice. Yes. Grooving. Groove. Definitely Bur- grooving. Groove. Budo Groove. <laughs> Budo Groove. <laughs> <Budo> groove. <laughs> That's great. That's a beautiful song, man. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I've been, um, uh, I was looking up some, looking you up on Google today, man. I was Googling Michael Guetta, right? Dude, you're on Wikipedia. You know that? Thanks, D. DP right there. Dave. Dave? <laughs> My my business partner got me on. Really? Yeah, he 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 he's the one that knows everything that we that I've done. You know, Dave, can I give you a call, bro? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he can he could get you a bio. He could do all that stuff. Man. Yeah, he's, he's very good at all. Super that. Dave. Oh yeah, Super Dave. Like Joe calls him Wi-Fi Dave. Wi-Fi Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi Dave. Oh that's yeah, he'll cool, he'll man. hook you up, man. That's that that's cool because I I saw that I was like man how did this like, wow he's up on Wikipedia man it's pretty impressive yeah thank yeah you, man, man. Thank that's, you. that's pretty impressive man and um but the uh the whole band thing and and the music and like where where you're gonna be going you know with your original project because I know it's important for a lot of us to record our original projects it's just like our own little. Yeah, I mean, we always want to just keep producing. Keep, like, I'm b- making my first album, right? And um, Yeah, you're telling me. That's great. And, um, and so I love the process of it and everything. And and I know that you're doing this, too, with your project, getting back to your roots, man. And Because I know that being born and raised in L.A., right? Because that's where you're from, mm-hmm. right? It's a little bit different over there, right? Oh, yeah, so totally. Then, so then you're coming over here, and then you're playing with these musicians that are here from San Antonio, you know what I mean? Start catching that kind of a feel, that kind of a groove. Changes things around. Which which is home, L.A. or San Antonio? Well, I mean, it, it, and, you know, I've... I've How long have you been here again? I've been here uh, now over half my life. So I've been here 21 years. 21 years. I moved here when I was 18. I, I live... I, after high school, I was out of high school probably five months. Yeah. And, uh, and wow. I, yeah, it was like Max, uh, I'll never forget Max, man, Max Baca, man. Uh, he told me, he's like, dude, when you're, he's all, man, you got it, man, you got it. And, uh, Flacco would, uh, tour out there a lot and they needed a, a drummer, you know? So it was like, oh, hell, man. So they would call me and do like, you know, maybe San Diego to LA and up north or something and do a little run and, and play Taste of Texas out there in Azusa, you know, out there in, a, in a, outside of L.A. And so, so, uh, and then we would jam at uh, La Ramada, you know, and yeah, and uh, Speedy V and Max came out and Lorenzo Martinez. Shout out to Lorenzo Martinez. Uh, he would play drums and played with me many times. But uh, they would say, man, it's like, dude, you got it, man, you got it. So uh, when you're ready, you know, after uh, high school. Uh, come down and give me a call and you can move in with me. You know, wow. and I was like, I was 16. And so I go, all right, all right. So after high school, man, as I graduated and I was like, what's up, Max? I was like, oh, hey, man, I was shit. like, I'm ready, bro. You know, that's so, so that's how it happened, man. He said, hey, come on down and, you know, gave me, you know, shelter, man. And and uh, and so that was that was pretty amazing. He got me into a lot of gigs and stuff and landed uh, with uh, Ruben Ramos. You know, I played with him for about a month. Uh, while Rick uh, Fuentes was out producing something in Hawaii, you know, so wow. so I got to play with Ruben and meet all those guys, uh, you know, Pia Ramos, Joe Ramos, wow. you know, Rick Reyes, you know, the, Dude, the original cats, great. man. So so it was pretty pretty amazing to to do. But um, yeah, I, I've it. I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, you know, it's like yeah, when I tell my friends, like yeah, I'm gonna go back home and you know visit y'all, but then I'm gonna go back home, you know, in San Antonio. So it's like. I don't know, man. I don't know how to right, how to call it, but right. but really, really, home home is home is now San Antonio. You know, is yeah. is uh, uh, I've been here over half my life, and I really don't want to move from here. And I'll probably I'll really never would go back to LA. No, uh, to I don't live. Think so. You know, it's just the cost of living. It's just it's it's pretty. How about your family? Like all your family? I got I still got my mom's alive. My pops, uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, six years ago, dementia and all that, and so. Uh, I still got. Thank you, brother. And and uh, uh, two of my sisters are out there. Uh, I was the baby, uh, so uh, they're out there. Uh, I have a niece, and nephew, you know, and uh, my mom's out there. Um, I have a, a bunch of family still, you know, cousins That's and great. stuff uh, that are out still there. out there. So it's uh, uh, and still a lot of dear friends, you know, that I I make a point to go see and That's great. and hang out and you know. And High so, school buddies or what? Man, you know what? Uh, uh, friends, earlier. Uh, friends from uh, neighbors, 
our neighbors from four years yeah. old four years old and we still talk wow that's great you know fernando uh, fernie mendez uh blessings to him you know he's going through a little rough time right now but uh hang uh, in there brother a, great, a dear friend of mine dear friend hang of mine there, we're brother. praying for you bro yes and um uh everardo lalo you know i just talked to him today and i hadn't talked to him in a long time but uh fernie and i we, we've kept in touch quite a bit so uh i mean we've all known each other we grew up next to each other for like four uh since we were four you know wow. so that's great it's pretty amazing to still have friends from yes. back then and still keep in touch and, and yes. hang out and you know i don't have very many friends from my childhood i think i might have like maybe two two Is or that three right? yeah from like elementary from elementary yeah yeah, yeah. that's pretty two. amazing no yeah two wow okay and then about maybe about four or five from middle school that are the same four or five that I went to high school. Oh, wow. So since middle school. Oh, okay, okay. About four or five cats. That are, and wow. I still, yeah, we still, they come out to my gigs every once in a while. Oh, that's and, great, man. You know, we, they, you know, just like, just like anybody else, you know, they, they go through the phase of like starting their families and then they kind of disappear for a little bit. And then right. now they're just back. Raising them, yeah, raising the kids to, to get yeah. to an age where and they now can they're like, <laughs> okay, man, you guys are good enough. You guys are cool. You're 13. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and yeah. dad are going to jam out real quick. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got the iPad. You're good. Yeah, you're good. All right, cool. <laughs> so a very interesting, uh, uh, what we were talking about earlier about uh, the Mavericks, you know, because that's your, that's your gig alongside your original project. And um, <clears throat> so how did all that come to play? Because, well, actually, man, I, I don't know, man. Should I just do the video first? Uh, it's kind of cool what, what I saw yeah, in that you know, video. You know what I mean? Well, and, it, it, it all started. I, uh, I'll, I'll say very little. And yeah. Then you could do the okay. video. That's, 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 um, that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, back in, and it's a funny thing. We were talking about, you know, my, my mom and dad, uh, mm -hmm. I had moved them from LA to San Antonio for a while. And, um, and, uh, uh, they, they were just moved here and, uh, I'll never forget, man. It was, it was at the Casbeers at the church sold out 300 people and, um, Raul Malo's playing there, you know? And, and so, uh, I got a call from, uh, Bill Millet and he, uh, Bill Miller. Uh, Bill Miller, yeah, <laughs> he had nah, some dude. chicken and <laughs> stupid joke, stupid joke. But he uh, he uh, he called me and because uh, we were doing some stuff, um, Texas music extravaganza. We did, uh, and I was all over the the film, you know, and I played with all the bands except um, uh, Raúl Malo mm -hmm. and his solo band, not the Mavericks. And so after that, I got a call probably like three months later, and like they had aired it on PBS, and wow. so. I get a call from Bill Millett and, and he, uh, he, uh, tells me, he goes, Hey man, you know, Raul Malo, right? And I go, shit. I was like, yeah, of course, man. I know who he <laughs> is, man. I was like, I love his music. And he's like, well, he's like, Hey man, he's got a gig. Uh, he's all, when was it? Uh, tonight. He's all, he's got a gig tonight at Casper's at the church. He's like, and he wants you to jam with him. And you know, you guys will play. And he goes, well, here, here, you talk to him. You know, and so Raul, he's You're like, like, what, what? You know, and, and, and Raul, Raul was his deep voice. Like, hey, Mikey, you know, like, I can't even do it deep. But he's like, he was super, <laughs> I was like, what's up, bro? Like, man. You're like, like starstruck. Dude, I was like, you know, not really just like, man, it was like, finally get to, you know. Oh, got you. Talk okay. to him, man. It's like, I mean, we've crossed paths too. Like, hey, man, what's up? At like uh, South by Southwest events and, and just never got to really talk to him and, you know, let him know who I was, you know, and so. He's like, hey, man, I saw your, you know, your recording playing. He's like, man, you could play, brother. So, uh, you know, what do you think about joining me, man? And, you know, of course, I'll pay you, man. I go, hell, man. I said, whatever, dude. I said, I'm there. He goes, you know, nice. we'll do, you know. He goes, do you know my songs? I said, dude, I know some of your songs. I'm not, like, that heavy into your music, but I love your music. I said, I do know some of them. Uh, but he goes, well, dude, we're going to do some, you know, cause he's Cuban American. So he's like, we'll do some Cuban folk, you know, some Mexican folk music. And, uh, so you could join me, man. And, uh, you don't have to play the whole show. You could just, you know, I'll get you up and, and we'll play. So I said, oh man. So I remember taking my mom and dad out there. And so, uh, it was, it was magical, man. We, I got there, you know, we got to the side of Casper's of the church and, you know, met face to face. I brought a joint, of course. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I brought a joint, and uh, I was like, "Bro, nice. you smoke or what?" He goes, "Dude, of course, man." You know, so we're we're right there <laughs> next to the church, right, uh, smoking, and nice. and so he goes, "Hey, man, uh, I love it. I'll, I'll get you up." He goes, "Just you know, 
be ready, whatever. So he gets up and, you know, he's just doing a solo thing with his uh, gut string and nylon string. And so he's like, amazing, you know, doing amazing. And, you know, uh, then he calls me up and, and I swear it was, it was magic. And, and he says it too. He's just like, it was, it was meant to be the chemistry that just, it just connected, you know, and, and it was pretty surreal for me. And, uh, uh my parents were there, you know, my buddy, David Pedrazine was there, uh, junior hustle, you know, was junior. there to, to experience this. And of course, Terry, Terry was there. I remember Terry was there and, and, uh, hooking up, uh, hanging with my parents and stuff. And so it was a pretty magical moment and, and pretty, pretty heavy, heavy to the heart. Cause my parents were there, you know? Right. So, and, uh, so that awesome. was how it, how it, uh, how it, it all started. And, and, uh, well, I think you have a little clip. Yeah, have a little clip, a little man. Clip. Yeah, we're going to show this clip here real quick. Uh, you guys, welcome out to Marked Up Live. Let me make sure I got the right video this time around, bro. <laughs> Ching, yeah, man. Me, last time I was like shooting all over the place. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, man. Welcome out to Marked Up Live, party people. Woo. <laughs> Right, everybody um that was about on me and i'm trying to get my little mouse over here yeah cool. man you know that that was a. Uh, I wouldn't say nervous but i was you know kind of on <laughs> on uh you know in heaven when that happened uh, and then at the church too <laughs> but uh yeah i mean just to he was popping out songs and and so I was like, of course I know Sabor a Mi, you know? And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. and so I couldn't even start it because I was like, oh, I was like, oh God, like what? You know, I was like, I, pretty, almost, I just kind of drew a blank, you know? 
crazy? Yeah, it's so yeah. funny, man. But uh, after that, I just, uh, you know, just got into the groove. But it was uh, actually, that was like the first gig ever. And so it was beautiful that we, uh, after that, he he's just like, Mike, I got to have you on the record. You know, I got to have you on, on my, my solo records. And and uh, I want you to go out with me. You know, I want you to go out on the road with me and, and let's do this duo thing. Wow. So we traveled the world doing the duo like this for about two years. And in between kind of just did that. Like, just that dude we went to europe we went to the uk i mean it was amazing man it was amazing i mean all over the states canada it was it was pretty surreal you know wow yeah it's pretty little, amazing little duet, just, just just going acoustic that way you know yeah and uh all over man and and so and, and in between that we did you know we did some uh some shows with uh the full band you know, and, and uh, but Raul just like, you know what? I want you to do all the leads. I ain't going to hire another guitar player. I'm just, I'm going to play. He'll play electric or mainly he would do the the nylon, you know. And so we had a, a trumpet player that played keyboard and uh, Elio Giordano on, on upright bass and uh, John McTeague, the third on drums. So mm-hmm. we toured like that, you know. And um, after that, we 20, uh, what was it? Uh, 2011 at the end of that. We we're having our Christmas shows and it was just the duo. And he told me, he goes, Hey man, you know, the Mavericks were talking and we're getting back together. You know, I was like, Oh dude, that's awesome, man. I was like, man, that's great. And then I was like, oh, there, goes man, my gigs. there goes my gigs. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, shit. And so he goes, and he could see it in my face. And he goes, Mikey, you're going with me, man. He's all, you're going with me. You're, you're a recording player, dude. You're going with me with the Mavericks. And I was like, no way, dude. I was like, so in 2012, the beginning, we I met all the guys, and it was actually it was not the full band. It was just the Mavericks. It was you know Robert Reynolds, Paul Deacon, right. Eddie Perez, Jerry Dale McFadden, and I met them all at at uh, Blackbird Studio in Nashville. You know, and Blackbird. I was like, yeah, I was like, and that's our HQ. That's where we cut every record. And that's where Ernie's always at, right? Ernie's always there. Ernie he's Gonzalez, like, yeah, yeah, he's always, always out there. there. Yeah, yeah. With, with John McBride and. Yeah, doing all kinds of stuff there, and I'm always always missing, of course, because we're we're doing our sessions there. But right. but uh, definitely, man, we uh, I met all the guys, and the first record was uh, called "In Time" with the Mavericks, and and uh, I did I did quite a bit because we didn't have horn players or anything in there just yet, but we're gonna put it on, oh, you nice. know. And so so I got to do quite a bit on the first record, you know. Nice. So that was pretty pretty surreal, pretty cool, you know. Yeah. So, so Blackbird <laughs> Studio is Martina McBride and her and John McBride, and yeah, John her McBride, husband, right? And uh, we have, uh, yeah, uh, Ernie Gonzalez, which is also sponsored by Horner. Yeah, Grammy Award. Grammy winner. Award. Yeah, he just opened up his Grammy on Facebook. Congratulations, bro! That's Congratulations, amazing. Congratulations, Ernie. Well deserved. Well deserved. My man, my An amazing man. musician and and uh, engineer. He's man. just a beautiful person, dude. Sure is, man. Sure. You know, is. he's done like you know, we we've done gigs together and stuff. You know, we grew up together and, but you know, man, just like you know, there's been plenty of times when I just. Like, for instance, when he's doing George Strait, you know, when, when he was doing all the gigs with George Strait, I was like, hey, yeah, Ernie, I mean, you think I can get some tickets, man? He goes, yeah, I'll get you some tickets, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Super you know, cool. I mean, you know, they, of course, I mean, I would never take advantage hey, of, a, hey, so, of, sorry of a good to, friend of mine, so I paid for my <laughs> tickets. I did my part. Sorry to everybody else that he hooked it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry I didn't make it. <laughs> oh. that's, that's horrible, right? But I went, I saw George Strait, and he was just like, and, and it was all because Ernie, man, he just, you know, meets me and here's your tickets. I'm like, yeah, that's great, man. So anyways, but aside from that, forget the the big shows. I mean, just growing up. Oh, totally. Together, you know what I mean? Yeah, Ernie to, and I, know, so. to know him back then. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally, totally. Yeah, he, he, he's definitely a good heart. So, uh, yeah, so stepping back to that. So, man, so then you just kind of just started playing with the Mavericks, dude. And you yeah, just, and, you, just, we, and we so took, would that kind of like be like your... Me like just getting with Raul just kind of changed your whole career. Totally, totally, totally changed your career. Totally so on a whole other level. That would level. probably be your best, or I mean, because I can't speak for you, but one of your best moments in your musical career. Most definitely to have somebody like that just say, "You're coming with me, man." Oh yeah, most most definitely was was when I met with Raul and just musically, I mean, just I mean with the experience and everything with him and, and just really getting to know how it was done, man. And, Mm -hmm. and I mean, writing, I mean, I was there when he would write stuff and I mean, 
you know, just everything for, from my whole, the caliber of being a musician and what it's all about, it just totally went to another level, you yeah. know, totally, you know, and I'll, I'll never forget that. It was definitely a, a huge event in my life and one of the biggest That's so bad. far. I mean, to be continued, but, you know, so yeah, far. Yeah, to been, be continued, been brother. pretty Hell amazing. Yeah. Been a pretty amazing road. I think that's I think that's amazing, man. I think we all find those moments in our lives, you know what I mean, when we're just into music, man, and we're just looking for that opportunity and you know, and it doesn't happen for everybody, but and you know, and 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 a lot of us, you know, um get the honors and the privileges and the things to go out there and you know, and do some really really cool shows, man. You totally. know what I mean? Yeah, and that's oh yeah, for sure. And that's the part that like that 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 for me is the rush. That's what hooks me and that's what you know, I, I don't take it for granted, man, about the gigs that I do, man. All I want to do is that I want to keep shooting for those big shows and oh, for yeah. those big kind of concert type venues, even if it's two or three thousand people. But, um, right. Only, yeah, just just two thousand two thousand two thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but I mean, like doing like some of the Emilio stuff, man. We were like playing in front of eighty thousand, oh, yeah. hundred thousand. No, you guys were doing some sea heavy. of people, dude. Sea of people. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for man. Sure. You couldn't see the end, and they had like I think other stacks of PA like further on down back. Oh, you know wow, what I mean? Yeah, like it was like that, that heavy. Yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> PA system, and then like another hundred yards, another PA system, and something like that. But um, uh. But yeah, man, it is like that. What whatever like like uh, Raul did for you is what Emilio did for me. Totally, for sure. Oh yeah, you know, it changed my life. Yeah. And I was a kid when it when it happened. I was twenty two, and before yeah. that, I was playing with Posada. Joe, Joe Posada. Oh, Joe so I was man. a kid, God. nineteen, like learning all this stuff. From oh like yeah, these from amazing musicians, dude. Totally, man. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, here comes this guy, you know, Emilio, and he's a young guy, and he's just, like, starting in his career. He's already playing with, you know, had been playing with David Lee, did his own thing. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey, man, you want to... I, I, I was doing some recording with uh, with Raul Navaira. All right, yeah. And then Raul was the one that pulled me in. Oh, wow, awesome. You know what I mean? See, so that's, that's kind of the same thing, you know? That's how I got in, you know? And then after that, it's 13 years. Wow, wow, 13 years of six, six the first time around. No, no, seven the first time around, six the second time around. Wow, Up pretty heavy. That's heavy, man. Yeah, heavy. man, it was a lot of fun, dude. Okay, so check it out. There's a lot of comments, man. It's like, holy yeah, shitload of comments. Awesome, but I'm gonna start with uh, Terry's because she's funny, dude. <laughs> uh, she says 20%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we're dealing it. We're yeah, dealing yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. She says, "I'll take the, I'll take the 20 <laughs> Oh yeah. I was lowballing her too, man. I was like saying ten percent. Okay, let you, me I see. Oh, thanks, Terry. She says, "Great show, Mark Martinez. Impressive career so far, Michael from Tracy Carter de Gal, uh, Regal, and Barbara wow, Tracy, Garcia thank Galindo you, thank says, you. Tracy Carter Regal. I totally agree with you. What a wonderful career you have had, Michael." Especially with the Mavericks. All right, we got some. Thank Maverick you, fans Tracy. For sure. Yeah, Tracy. Shout Atlanta. out to her too. Yes, uh, Robert Casillas. Saludos, Joe. What Gonzalez. a lay, Robert. We got John looking, and then let me see, Benny Gonzalez. Howdy. Howdy, Benny Gonzalez. Is that a good friend of yours? Benny Gonzalez, definitely from uh, from New Mexico, Albuquerque. Shout out, Benny, and What's his wife up, Kim. Benny? Hello. B -b 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 Hope Benny. to see y'all soon, man. <laughs> and then. I don't know if it's Taco Medellin or Tacho. Tacho Medellin. Tacho. He says menudo. What's up? He oh, yeah. He menudo. knows. What's he knows. Up? He's seen my, my posts. Yeah, has he? <laughs> hey, he could cook, too. I've seen his posts, man. There's they're some good yeah, stuff, man. Yeah, bad, Definitely, dude. definitely. Benny Gonzalez says, missing your groove, MG. And uh, Benny also says, can't wait to see you in concert. And uh, Luis Perez, primo, last time I ran into... You was in Lubbock, Texas. You were rocking with Los Lonely Boys. Oh, yeah. Hell of a party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Love Duca says hello. Ronnie Love Sal and Robert. Ronnie Saldana. <laughs> was looking forward to working with Mike again at Stubbs. Hopefully they reschedule. Oh. Great band. Yeah. I hope so. Oh, yeah. That would be, that'd be wonderful. That would be wonderful. Yeah, man. Love you, Ronnie. Love Duca says Peace the coolest man. player. Right. Oh man, he's the best. How about my musicianship? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Robert and and Love, man. There's so dude. There's so many comments, dude. 
Oh, man. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah, Barbara says, Barbara Garcia Galindo says, thanks, Mark, for sharing Michael Guerra's music life stories. You got it, girl. Angel Valdez, Michael has better stories than we drink together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then Kat Espinosa says, Mikey, what's up, man? Look forward to Kat. checking you out at your gig soon. Hello. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate and, you and guys then, watching. Yeah, dude. And Jeanette Velvet says... Uh, we, Jeanette! Yeah, she says, we're due for a raspa soon. Oh, big time. <laughs> Raspas. We go way back, man. That's awesome, man. Yeah, some great viewers and some great friends <laughs> and some fans over here, bro. Oh, That's man. Amazing, some great man. people. Like I said, like we were talking about, you know, about, you know, the, the fans that They're just family, become man. friends, you know? It's like, family. there it is right there, you know? It's like the, these people have become really good friends, you know? Yes. And, and uh, lifetimes, you know, lifers. Yeah, I, I have a really cool set of friends that um, from Midland, Odessa, Midland, Midland. And I've known them for almost I don't know, 25, 26 years, 26, 27. Yeah. And I just go out there. I mean, when I play out there, I'm like, I go shower there and they feed me. And oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. there's like a couple other families that are out there that, you know, I mean, I don't have somebody everywhere, but I do have like, you know. Yeah, man, it's, that's how it happens. Close. Just, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you might not be over here, but you're close. Oh yeah, you're the closest. <laughs> they'll take and they'll, they'll drive they'll me all up. the way to to, <laughs> yeah. to hang at their pad. You know, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> man. I love it. I love it. That's well, man, stuff. um, I want to first say uh, thank you, man, so much for being a part of my show, man. Oh, I really I am so excited you. that you're here, man, because you know I I just love you know what what we do in this in this city, man, and Definitely. you're like one of those kind of guys that kind of put his little staple on San Antonio, man. You should be proud Thank of you, that. Thank you should you. be very uh, proud of that because am, you're man. a very accomplished guy, man. And, Thank and it shows you. in your you, playing and, and all that. Of course, man, of course, man. And, and, um, uh, but one thing I ask all my guests, if you don't mind, can you sound my guitar brother? Of course I can. Ah. Definitely. Definitely, man. Party people. It'd be an honor. And this guitar I used to teach with, and don't ask me to play a gig on guitar because it ain't going to happen. I'll give you a guitar patch on a keyboard. You can sign anywhere you want, anywhere you can find room. Awesome. All accordion players have to sign in the back. Right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 and that's gonna go up There's no room for Ernie <laughs> and Jamal Guzman. And <laughs> that's funny, man. Yeah, and put the year. Because summer 2020 and... There you go. That's it. I love it. Puro COVID. Oh, badass, dude. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, I will put this back. I got Michael Guerra, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark, for having me. You yes, know, I appreciate you, you, brother. Thank you for it's being been, here. It's been so much fun yeah, catching up, man. you know. So, what's... uh? Do you have like any gig coming up that we can go and see you yeah, at actually, or anything, man? Yeah, I do. I, I do. Come uh, see you, man. I do. Uh, I have. Uh, I got a couple of things at the end of the month. Uh, March twentieth. Uh, it's a Saturday, Saturday night at the Lighthouse Lounge, the Michael Guerra Band. All right. Uh, Robert Casillas will be joining me. Uh, Mike Torres and Zeke Galvan, and uh, also on the twenty seventh, uh, it's a Cool Crest. Uh, um, uh, miniature golf, you know, it's on Fredericksburg. Okay. They got a new beer garden next door. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's and it's. Oh, oh I've heard about that spot. Yeah, okay. And it's okay. Um, it's so new. I don't I can't remember the name. It's 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 like kind of a, a German thing, but it's a it's a beer garden. It's right next to Cool Crest, and it, it overlooks downtown. It's oh, so beautiful. It's right there on Fredericksburg and Ten. Amazing. They have a, a a food truck, nice little stage. I mean, you can bring the kids, your pets, you know. And we're playing there six thirty to nine thirty with the Michael Guerra band. And uh you see there are And that's be, what date again? That's March twenty seventh. March twenty seventh. The last Saturday. And then March twentieth at the Lighthouse Lounge with the uh, uh out there with uh Rene Zamora out there in uh uh by the lake. Nice, man. Yeah. And same. then and then of course you have your Facebook page and then you have your Yeah, I got Instagram, you know. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram, Facebook and uh uh we do have have some uh, uh Maverick shows coming up actually in April. Um uh in at acl live so uh we had two shows uh we're gonna kind of tone it down i guess they're gonna go with the 50 percent capacity okay so i think we might go to three maybe four maybe five shows i don't know wow yeah so so we'll see uh 
we're still trying to figure it out, but I, I do believe it's happening, you know. Uh, yeah, man, uh, Emilio was telling me that they were going to bring ACL back, man. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's been going on. Yeah, that's been going on. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that, you know, see the see the boys again. Shout out to the Mavericks, man, and my yeah. homeboys and Rick Rodriguez, Michael Reynolds, the whole crew. All the brothers, there, man. man. Definitely. And uh, so how long has it been since you've seen the guys, the Mavericks? Man, uh Gosh, you know the last time. Uh, gosh, I, man, that's what? a good question. It's, it's been, been it's been long? a while. I want to say towards the end of last year. You know, towards the end of last year, maybe like y'all September. Like together and nothing. Just a, no, we just uh, FaceTime or something. No, we we did a uh, we did a FaceTime thing with some of the guys. Uh, it was just to 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 check in on each other that's and cool. you know see what's up and uh, but. Uh, no, we uh, we're everybody's been. Uh, Raul's actually been doing a lot of solo shows and and touring himself. And okay. but the boys are are holding it down out there in Nashville and and uh, working on a lot of good things going on, and um, and trying to get us back out in the road, you know, uh, safely, you know. Yes, safely, so. brother. Well, man, I um, well, that's great, man. I I mean, I just can't wait till you can. I mean, I know what it's like to not see my band, so I can imagine what's. Oh cause, yeah, because mine was just at least they're here in town. We can still kind of <laughs> you know check up on each other, but I can imagine, man, not seeing your brothers, man, for oh, a good, yeah. uh, over a year, right? For, oh yeah, it's, like, it's it's been it, it's been it's, it's over a year. It's, it's getting close to it. it it's, okay, uh, but like we we did a lot of stuff in 2020 and filming a lot of content for for some stuff. That's so right. That's right. I did You're see worth them, saying that. Yeah, I did see them t- uh, in the fall, maybe uh, of last year, somewhere around there. But uh, definitely be great to see them, and and yeah. I'm I'm gonna see them here in about a month. So that's gonna be great, that's you great. know, to, to reunite and and just groove, you know, just jam and yeah. And, uh, but uh, for the uh, for the for the time being, it's it's nice to to do my own thing, you know, at home and yeah. and being able to do that, you know, and and have the my my guys, you know, very talented uh, oh, cats, yeah. you know. So it's oh, it's, yeah. it's so so fun to play with them too, you know. It's yeah. like pretty cool that we have a few gigs and you know. Well, so. I'm sure you know you know just you know being being home and then just kind of like being able to hone in on some different things that you are wanting to do and you know move forward Definitely, with yeah. in your career which is going to be your solo projects and whatever i could totally get it man that that, you know it i i like the fact that we can you know that things did change up a little bit i mean i know that the break stopped but things did change a little bit and i was able to like refocus my energy on some other places right and i know that a lot of people were able to do that too man so yeah yeah, so that so that yeah it's a blessing to have that and you know take you know take the positive out of what you can Mm -hmm. you know of what's going on and and it's a great time you know right now like i said the the studio that we got going is is, is going to be looking uh, forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be happening here pretty soon. I can't wait, and uh, we're just you know when the time's right, it, it's right, and, yeah. and we're going to get to it when we can. And and uh, but uh, this is the time to do it, you know, while we're still trying to get everything together with the Mavericks and 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 mm-hmm. have a, another tour. We don't know when that will be, but we do have some shows coming up. So in the time being, you know, just try to be creative and and uh, get get ready for the future. You know, yeah, man, yeah, because yeah, it's all changing. Brother, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you, man. Mark. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Michael Guetta, everybody. And uh, all right, man. So you guys, you know, go check him out on his Instagram. Go check him out on his website, Facebook. Um, check out the shows when they're going to be performing. They got the 20th and the 27th. All the shows are on there on your Facebook oh, yeah. page and everything. And I'm sure you'll be putting out some posts and everything. But uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out and for, for signing in tonight. And uh, thank you, Mr. Michael Guetta, for everything, thank you, brother. Bro. And I wish you guys a great week. I'll see you all next week. I love you guys. Take care of your health. You guys already know what's up about that. And uh, look forward to our guest next week. Love you guys. Yeah, we'll champs right here, brother. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, man. You guys have a good night. We'll see you later. Michael, Peace. thank you, brother. Peace. <laughs>
That's all fucked up. Let's do it one more time. Another track. Yeah, another track. 